Oh, and he pulls off some crazy, some crazy action hero stuff right here. Especially for being the man who's afraid of heights. Oh, come on, Jack, you can do it. I believe in you. Don't look down. Don't look down. Okay. See, that's what you get for looking down. You could have, like, landed like a pro and been like, heck yeah, I'm a badass. But no, you didn't do that, Jack. You almost died. Good move, sir. Good move. And you know something else I always thought was funny? He keeps losing the crab all the time, but he still has this pendant in this little uh, gem here. I don't know. Oh, okay, we need to put that pendant in there. Uh, I'll reference it. Until I know what it's for, I'm not touching anything. <laughs> don't be such a coward, Jay. Come on. You've been put doing nothing but push random buttons uh, thus far, so I don't know why you won't push that one. Until I know what it's for, I'm not touching anything. I believe we should use the book of Aeon on this. It appears to be a map. You need to press a button to activate the sequence. It appears to be a map. You need to press a button to act. I can't pick it up. The claws are locking the gem firmly in place. Well, let's use that amulet. Alright, I finally figured it out. Um, <laughs> it took me much longer than I wanted to. I had to actually go and calm down because I was getting so angry with this. Uh, first up, do not take that gym. <laughs> Alright, push the button. And see that ledge right there? Yep. You can walk on it. Isn't that fun? Anyways, um... There was actually quite a lot of enemies in here. Uh, I forgot that there was any. I thought this was just like a maze. But uh, it is uh, quite full of enemies and traps. And these guys. I'm not quite sure why Jack's going crazy right now. Maybe it's the crabs. Because the crabs are making them nuts. Uh, silly Jack. Come on. Get, come back, get, get with the program here, buddy. Okay. Um, I think I want to go this way. Yeah, don't, don't use anything bigger than the pistol on these things. I mean, they're one shot, one kill. Uh, it's just kind of pointless. And uh, j just be real slow going through this section. Just be real slow, because there's traps everywhere. Uh, but I believe that should be it for us. Actually. No, wait, no, no, no. There's more stuff out here, I know. This is kind of a really huge maze, uh, actually. So, I'm trying to get lost. I think that should be it for what I need to do right now. Yeah. Now if I can, I, no, I just have to get back out. A lot of people would have difficulties with it, but no. I I know quite well what I'm doing. Sort of, kind of. Uh, maybe. Not not especially. No. Ah, that's a lie. I I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, was, was this not the way I was supposed to come? I thought I came up from that. No, I came from that way. Yeah, I almost fell to a pit and died. That would have been funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. There we go. That's the trickiest jump right there. It's <laughs> getting back over here. Alright, as I said, leave that there. And let's go do this again. Just follow the lights. Lights are your friends. Follow them. Oh, no, nope, not that way. Follow them this way. Yes. Follow them in here. Uh, jump that hole. The lights are not kind enough to show you the hole. And here we are. We use the stone we got in Cthulhu's Shrine. 
And because we got here in time, the claw will close and shine and open the secret Cthulhu door. And all is well with the world. And now we're going to start seeing this strange fauna that glows. That's apparently used as a light source for people. And this is what we saw in that flashback uh, recently, the, the Shadow of Time 2 flashback. Oh, that's where we have to go, I believe. But since we need to go there, I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, I'm an explorative fellow. And it'll probably get me killed here in a second. Yeah, it's going to get me killed. <laughs> let's ju let's just go where I need to go. What do you say? There's no secrets up here, I promise. Yeah, there's no secrets up here. Just going nuts. So I don't want to go nuts. So we're not going to. We're just going to go where we need to go. If Jack doesn't want to go crazy on me, please don't go crazy on me, Jack. 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 Alright. Thank you. You scared me there for a second, man. There's heavy gusts of air coming from the hole. Anyway, uh, yep. Push this boulder in. That's one hell of a drop. I didn't hear it hit the bottom. You're right, Jack. We should do something really great, like jump in. Uh... Yep, good plan to me. I'm glad we did this, Jack. This seems like a good idea. I'm super excited about this. I think I think we're going to go somewhere great. Like, uh, Disneyland. Or the Asylum. The, the Asylum's good too, I like it. It's got my favorite dude, the, uh, the spasming guy, and the, the blood's back, sweet. Apparently he exploded and coated the walls and froze with blood. You dirty beggars. You can't have my change. And there is us. It's a Shogoth! Run! Run from the Shogoth! Into the bright light. <laughs> and that was another fun, fun uh, asylum visit for us. Uh, they really should uh, hire a better queen for that blood in the, the, the hallways thing. Seems a little unsanitary to me. You know, what with disease and all. <laughs> So now we are entering the very, very last section of this game. The section that should be the most fun. I actually enjoyed it very much the first time I did it after I figured out what I was doing. <laughs> uh, figuring out what you're doing is the, the important bit. But that is that. Uh, we'll do this last section uh, fairly soon. And then I will be able to move on from this game. Hallelujah. So I'll see you then.